Hi everyone, I'm Pam. I teach uh, Silver Sneakers Classic at the Newport 60 Plus Center, and I also help out with an exercise class down in Yahats. Uh, obviously, we can't be together right now, uh, but we still need to exercise. So I put this little video together in my kitchen that I hope you can find useful. Um, in the classic class, we use three pieces of equipment. We use uh, weights, a, a band, and then also a small ball. But you may not have that equipment at home. Um, you can substitute weights if you don't have regular weights. Um, I've got two cans of soup here that you could use just a little bit of resistance. Um, water bottles might work. Just make sure whatever you use, you can get a good grip on. Also, we use a chair. So, uh, need a sturdy chair with no arms on it. And uh, make sure that you have water handy. So, pace yourself. Know what your own limits are. Make sure that we're breathing throughout the exercises and that, you know, you hydrate. I'm gonna do about a five minute warm up, which will get our blood flowing and our muscles warmed up before we move into some of the other exercises. And so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Let's just go ahead and swing our arms a little bit, just a little rotation here. Warm up our spine a little bit. Hope everybody's doing well and you've adjusted to our situation, making the best of it. And a couple more of those. All right. How about our arms up? And let's shake those arms down. Up, shake those arms down. Two more times, shake those arms down. Last time, shake those arms down. Let's start with just a little march here. These don't have to be very high. Just warming up our legs. Getting that arms, those arms swinging. We're gonna take this from a march up to a toe tap out front with a little bit of larger arm swing. wasn't able to use the music with this, so you might want to add some to the background. Let's take this tap to the side. And let's take this tap to the back with a little pushback. Let's take your uh, tap back out to the front. Let's do a bicep curl with that and we're tapping our heel in front. Let's take that heel tap to the side. Last one, let's go back to that march. A little more bigger now, a little bigger arm swing. These are coming a little higher. How about a high knee with a push it down? Make that two. Last one of those. Back to that little march. And we're gonna do a kick out front, little kick. 
with a push forward and pull back. And we are breathing. Let's take this kick out to the side. And let's take this kick to the back. Let's turn that into a hamstring curl. So two, last one of those. Little march here. And we're gonna bring it down just a little bit. We'll do some leg work using our chair. And, and let's take one deep breath, blow it out. Let's do that again. In through the nose and out through the mouth. How about one more? All right, that got me warmed up. How about grabbing a drink? And we'll pull your chair out. So I'm gonna turn my chair sideways so you can see what I'm doing. And we're just gonna do some calf raises, so up on our toes, and then roll back on your heels. And let's do two and last one of those. All right. All right, so standing again behind your chair, we are, actually let's stand sideways to the back of your chair. And we're gonna do just a single leg kickback. You can hang onto that chair if you want, or you can let go and use your balance. Let's do four, three, two, and last one of those. All right, then we're gonna do a side kick here. So leg is going directly out to the side. Try not to uh, counterbalance. Work at that side of that leg. And let's do four, three, two, last one. We're gonna stay here, go ahead and shake that leg out a little bit. And then we're gonna do that soccer kick cross body. So the side of your foot is out. And again, if you wanna let go of that chair, you can do that. And four, three, two, and last one of those. All right, now we can shake those legs out. Let's go ahead and go to the other side. And again, we're gonna do those straight leg kickbacks. Do three, two, and last one. All right, and then those side leg lifts. Let's 
do four, three, two, and last one. And then that soccer kick, cross body. Four, three, two, and last one. All right, let's shake that out. All right, I'm gonna set my chair aside. I'm gonna grab my weights. Grab your weights. If you don't have weights, that's okay. You can just follow the movements. You'll still get good, some good out of it. So how about we do hammer curls? We're starting out with one at a time. Nice tall bodies. Tummies are tight. Shoulders are down, hand back. We're standing tall. And let's do two more singles. And then we're gonna do both arms. So let's do six, five, four, three, two, and last one of those. All right. And you can shake that out a little bit. How about those weights in the center? We're gonna twist to one side. We're gonna open up, feel those shoulder blades come together. And then we twist to the other side. Open up, twist, open up, twist, open up. And we'll do two more. And this will be our last one. All right, good. Okay, we're going to uh, go with soft knees, hips are back. Our weights are out in front of us and our palms are up and we're gonna pull those weights up to our ribs. Do two, and last one. All right, how about some bicep curls? Let's go ahead and go all the way from the bottom and all the way up, both arms. All right, this next one, we're gonna go halfway up and back down. Halfway up, back down, halfway up. Two more. And then holds those weights in the center and then push them out. Feel your back working. two, last one of those from the center, up to the top and back to the center. Let's do two, last one, back to the center and we're gonna cross those weights in front of us. Hope everybody has been getting themselves some exercise, even if you haven't gone to class. Two, last one of those. All right, how about a little tricep work? So push those weights directly behind you. The weights are perpendicular to our body.
Next one, we're going to hold it back there. A little pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. And let's do four, three, two, and last one. All right, one more of these bend overs, we call them soft knees, hips are back. This time our palms are down and we're pulling up to our chin. Two more, two, and last one. All right, let's go ahead and grab our chair. We'll do one more arm exercise in our chair, and then we'll do a little more leg work. So, um, grab one of your weights, lean your elbow to the inside of your leg, and we're just gonna do this kind of 45 degree bicep curl. Last one of those. Let's go to that other side. And two more. Two. And last one. All right. We're going to do a front leg lift. Uh, one or two or no weights on your leg starting at the floor and we're lifting that leg up till you feel that big muscle that big thigh the top of your leg get hard and then just relax it next one we're going to hold it there no pulse just hold it five four three two one release and let's do three two and last one all right shake that out let's go to the other side Uh, the next one, let's hold it up there. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax it. Yeah, let's do two. And that last one. Okay. All right. How about uh, weights on your shoulders? And we're just going to go up with one, up with the other. And we're only going to do two and last one of those. Okay. Ah, let's put those weights down. Put them out of your way. In fact, let's do a few shoulder rolls here forward and back. All right, just a little bit more leg room or leg work. Um, normally we do these with the bands. Maybe sit a little closer to the front edge of your chair. Uh, leg out in front of you and then we're just gonna rotate it to the side. I found without the band, this is actually a little more challenging. That band helps support your leg while it's out there. Let's just do two. And last one. All right. And how about that gas pedal move? Pushing that leg straight out in front of you, bringing that knee up. Getting in a little bit of ab work. Two and last one. All right, shake that leg out. We're gonna go to the other side. 
leg out in front and then just rotate to the side. Let's do two, and last one. All right, and then that gas pedal on that side. And two, and last one. All right, shake both those legs out. All right, let's do a little bit of stretching while we're here. Uh, Ankle on your knee, if you can get it there. If not, just go ahead and get it up as far as you can get it. If it's a, if just down on your ankles, crossing your ankles, that's okay too. Let's uh, sit up really tall in our chair and a little pressure above the knee so you feel a little more intense stretch in that hip. And then lean forward just a little, and that should intensify that stretch even more. Probably feel it in your lower back. And back up, hook your arm underneath that knee, and then let's pull that knee in as close as you can get it to yourself. And then how about some ankle circles here? one direction then the other and then point and flex point and flex a couple more times point and flex all right we put that leg down let's change sides and again ankle on the opposite knee sitting up tall in our chair Feeling a nice stretch in our hip. And then just lean forward a little bit and you'll feel that stretch intensify. And back up. Let's go ahead and hook our arm under that knee. And then again, our ankle circles. One direction, then the other. And point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. And one more time, point and flex. All right, this is a, a new stretch that I saw in a video recently that I thought was really simple but effective. Um, your feet out front of you, probably just heels resting on the floor. And on one side, you're gonna reach down that side of that leg as far as you can go. So you've got a little bit of twist and you should feel a nice stretch out of this. And then slowly come back up. Let's do that on the other side. And then come back up. All right. One more stretch in the chair. Swing one leg over the side of your chair. The other leg is gonna go back. And if you can, actually bend that ankle back and scoot over, scoot over to the edge of your chair. Nice tall bodies, trying to get your shoulder, your hip, and your knee aligned. While we're here, let's go ahead and do some wrist circles. One direction and then the other. And how about some fists and open up. Two and last one. All right, drag that back foot forward and switch sides. 
inhale again, sitting nice and tall in your chair. This time, let's play the bongos while we're sitting here. And that nice stretch. And then how about a little bit of juggling? Go ahead and drag that back foot forward. Yeah, let's go ahead and stand up. You can go ahead and get your chair and the weights out of your way. We'll do a little more stretching while we're standing. All right, one arm across the body. Let's go ahead and wrap that arm around your neck. A little pressure so you feel a nice stretch in that shoulder. Go ahead and extend that arm all the way out too, and then maybe just a little bit of a lean so you can feel some stretch down your side. All right, release that. How about a tricep stretch? So reach down your back. And release that, shake that out. And let's do that other side. So wrap your arm around your neck, a little pressure here, intensify that stretch here in your shoulder. And release that and then just stretch that arm out to the side. Feel that stretch all the way up your side here. And go ahead and release that. Shake that out a little bit. And then let's reach around that big yoga ball in front of us. Feel that stretch around that back out. that and then reach a wrist across the, uh, in your back behind you grab your grab a wrist and then stretch those shoulders and across your chest kind of the opposite of what we were just doing then while you've got that one wrist a hold of that one wrist, tip your head to the opposite side. While we're here, look up at the ceiling. And down at the floor. Okay, release that wrist, grab the other one and tip your head to the side. And look up at the ceiling. And down at the floor. And we release that wrist, head back. How about that chin to your chest? If you want to give it a little extra help, so get a little nice stretch in the back of your neck. And release that. And then lean your head back just a little, whatever's comfortable for you. Now look up at the ceiling again. Uh, 
Okay, go ahead and release that. Let's just go ahead and just shake it all out. All right, I think that's good for today. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get back together here one of these days for a real class, but in the meantime, we do what we can. And with that, let's take three deep breaths. So we're going to soften our knees, reach down, fill up our lungs. And two. And last one. Thanks for joining me. Stay well.